Nancy Pfister was one of the princesses of Aspen. She grew up on a beautiful ranch. She grew up with a ski area that was owned by her dad. And um, she had a backstage pass to life. When I met Nancy, she was beautiful and vivacious. I met her at a 4th of July parade in Aspen. 4th of July was Nancy's birthday, and she always assumed the parades were for her. She turned wherever she was into a party. She would always get along with work and class, the waiters and the ski bums, but she would also be welcomed into the most exclusive homes. Nancy loved everybody. Well, she dated Jack Nicholson, everyone knows that, and, and she dated Michael Douglas, everyone knows that. When I was kind of going out with her, she invited me to a party. I think I was a senior. I go up and knock on the door, and Jack Nicholson opens the door, and he's like, hi. I'm like, hi, Jack. Is Nancy around? He's like, come on in, you know. Nancy did not have an off button. She was on all the time. And no one else is, so that in itself could, could, could wear a little thin once in a while. One night after she left Hunter's, you know, and she got exasperated, everyone there. You know, I think I, I said, why do we put up with her? And Hunter just looked at me and said, it's too late. We've known her forever. <laughs> she was stuck with her. She didn't apologize for who she was. She wanted what she wanted, and she usually got what she wanted. No one said no to Nancy Pfister, maybe ever until the end. You know, we all got to miss Nancy a lot during her life because she was someplace else as often as she was here. But now she's not coming back, and uh, it's very, very difficult for uh, people who were terribly fond of her to accept.